What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's gonna be a little different. Um, we're here working in Temecula. Yeah, I, I kind of, you know, got a little injured, so can't really be doing much roofing. So that's why the videos kind of haven't been coming out. Uh, had to literally take a break as much as I didn't want to. You know, you do you gotta do to make sure your health and your body is 100%. So yeah, um, so today's gonna be about why did I become a roofer? Why am I doing roofing? Why didn't I choose a different job? Why this? Some concerns, some people may think, why roofing? Do you get paid good? Long hours? Why do you like working in the sun? How do you do it in the summer? How do you do it in the winter? You wake up early every day. <clears throat> you work five to seven days a week. Why do it? So for me, it was simple. For me, I played baseball my whole life, so I already, I already knew how work kind of work, ethic and, you know, commitment and all that stuff. So for me, it was easy. Just something simple. You get up, go to work, come home, repeat. That's what I've been, been doing my whole life, playing baseball for 18 years. So when I started roofing, don't get me wrong, the very first day, as soon as I graduated high school, I tried getting a job at you know, Vaughn's or Fraser Farms or a grocery store. I mean, I was 17, almost 18 years old. Why, why would I want to do roofing? One month later, after I could not get a job, after filling out applications everywhere I possibly could, my dad, which is the owner of this company, and so you may think, oh, it's just because he's the owner, you got that job and whatnot, but no. Yeah, maybe it is because my dad is the owner and he put me to work right away, but hey, Works work, money's money. That's why I see it. Green's green. Um, anyways, I uh, woke up at, he woke me up at 6.30 in the morning. Job was over here where we live. Uh, and he's like, hey, how much you wanna, how much you wanna make in a day? I said, I throw 80 bucks. And back then minimum wage, what, in 2015 was like, I wanna nine something an hour, maybe $10 an hour. If that maybe. Um, he's like, you're gonna be throwing shingles. To one to the foreman, I'll say, which was Hector at the time, and he still works for us today. And I was like, you know what? I'll do it. 80 bucks, I'll do it. So, make a long story short, I worked for about five hours. He brought me lunch and all that cool stuff. And uh, the foreman at, at the time, Hector, was like, I like the way he works, he works hard, but you might have had no idea what I was doing. But that's the whole point. When you start a job, you have no idea what the heck you're doing. So that after that day, I was like, that's what roofers do all day. And keep keep in mind, it was midsummer. So up on the roof, I was throwing black shingles. I can remember this like it was yesterday. Throwing black shingles at Hector, him and I. It was about, I wanna say 94 degrees that day. And up on the roof, it's about five to 10 degrees hotter, especially for throwing black shingles. Your hands were hurting from the heat of ripping open the bundles. The, your hands were on fire from grabbing the hot black shingles, throwing them to Hector, moving bundles, moving trash, moving stuff across the roof to go throw it in the dump truck, moving rolls that they didn't, that were left over that they didn't need to put in the dump truck. Going in the dump truck, bringing up nails, getting plastic bags, and everything was crazy. But hey, works work at the time I had no idea what work really was until roofing so fast forward to the next day it was about six in the morning on a Saturday and my dad goes hey you want to go to work again and I'm like yeah sure what am I gonna be doing now keep in mind that day he called me on the phone because I was passed out and I said yeah sure I'll go to work and then I got up right I have never ever in my life been so sore from working and even working out training training playing baseball all that stuff workout i have never been so sore in my entire life than that day i my body was hurting in places i didn't even know it could hurt and i was like yeah i have no idea if i'm gonna be able to work today He's like, I figured, I didn't figure you are gonna be sore, but he goes, I thought I'd just ask. I got so sore. You guys probably know when, 
try to sit down and take a take a shit and your legs hurt that's how sore I was and I was like you know what is this what I want to do is this what I want to do as a career or is it just when my dad needs me do I go to work so to answer that question is this what I want to do for the rest of my life or do it as a career the answer was no now let me tell you why seeing my dad with his bad knees bad back he was doing it since he was about my age maybe a little bit younger but when he was raised he was raised on a farm so he would shovel shit from cows horses chickens rabbits and that was his dad's company and his dad wanted him to take it over but my dad decided you know that was kind of back in the days when they had avocado farms tomato farms and stuff like that where we live where things were completely different than they are now so fast forward to me he had us he had no choice but to work and what he was doing was roofing and i was back when track homes were a big thing so he would him and his compa ramon and juan they used to do three houses fell in three houses a day snap lines and then the next day they would start putting tile but it's called piecework so you get paid per square foot of what you do so that's what he did now for me coming into this job knowing of what my dad did and what he did growing up it was kind of like do i really want to put myself through that and mess up my body later and at the time i was like you know what i was young dumb i could do anything i felt like and i said you know what i don't want to do this but i'm gonna do it because i got no job and i'm gonna try it out so i did it that next week monday came around my dad's like hey do you want to work i'm like you know what yeah he goes okay you're going monday be ready by six o'clock i was like all right i knew hector one day that i met him my dad introduced me to him said hello he barely spoke english i barely spoke spanish so the dialect there was kind of you know off but hey work is work and uh come monday went to work everything was great uh tore off a roof for my first time and oh god turn off a roof in 98 degree weather and over here we call it el cajon it's basically like a desert there was no wind there was nothing 98 degrees roof was coming off i was a laborer so all i had to do was tear off the roof and put everything in a cartilla and they would load that shit up to at least 500 pounds 400 pounds of shingles whatever they fit in the wheelbarrow i had to go from one side of the roof all the way across to the dump truck push it up put all the trash and go back and tear off all that day so that was my job i was the laborer <laughs>
Cuidado. <risa> Make it left. Got a little breeze coming. You kind of see in my hair a little bit. But we got this going on. Nene is doing this and that right there. Hector is doing this right here and right there. You see me that I said right there? Oh, not anymore. But Diego. In front of the garage, but yeah, as I was saying, I was a laborer when I was 17, 18, 19. Three years of carrying trash, carrying tile, whatever they need for load rolls that were torch rolls that were probably 90 pounds each. I'd carry like 15, 20 in a day, or if they needed more, more. Piles like this, stacks of five or six, up a ladder like this high, two stories down there from the trailer. Like that right there, would put tiles in the trailer right there, would have to toss it up, everything. So that was about three years, four years. I mean, I still help load tile and shit like that, but it's not as crazy anymore. Um, right now, I'm a little hurt, so I can't really do shit, but yeah, I mean, roofing is. I wouldn't say the hardest job out there, but it is pretty labor intensive. I mean, not, then again, I wouldn't trade it for a lot of stuff. You work outside, you burn a lot of calories. Like this, these guys here, you know, I've been working for them for about almost seven years now. So it's like another family you got with these guys, you know, they feed you, uh, they give you advice, you know, whatever. Whatever you need help with, they help you. You know, even if you need help at their, your house, your personal shit, they help you out. You know, I help these guys out, you know, I help them out. Uh, one of them moved, they use a trailer, come to trailer, I was like, you know what, take it. Like, who cares? You know, you help them out, they, they scratch your back by doing all this work, coming out here every single day, no breaks, no complaining. Just work, 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 work. 
it's just the way they're built, you know? Not a lot of people can do this work. Concrete, asphalt, roofing, landscaping, not a lot of people can do that work. These puro mexicanos most of the time, but hey, you know, they, they do what they gotta do to make money, survive, feed their family. At the end of the day, everybody has a family and they all got family, so they're out here working. Um, you know, I, I enjoy roofing. Uh, I won't, I'm not gonna do it for the rest of my life. Uh, I will take over this company in probably about a year or two, so it's not gonna be too crazy, but you know, um, it is what it is. Would I choose another job? Probably not. You know, I can't, I can't take orders from other people. It's just not in my blood. Never was. Um, I like making money. Roofing, there's no limit. Whatever you want to do, whether it's this stuff, which is what you see here, uh, residential, or even commercial, you do apartments and industrial buildings and stuff like that, you know. The sky's the limit. You can have anywhere from four employees to you and one guy to all the way up to we had in, back in the days around 2000s, 178 recession came, but it is what it is, you know, but for me, my experience i enjoy roofing um in the beginning i did i did quit and go work at discount tire because it was too much but other than that you know i love doing what i do and this is it so if you like this channel drop a like subscribe you know there's gonna be a lot more content uh, i'm gonna try to upload two times a week depending on what i can and cannot do um as soon as i start working again doctor clears me i'll be good to go get right back to it and give you guys some cool content of us putting fell, turning off roofs, loading tile, you know, all the cool stuff. We got a cool job coming up. Um, you guys can see we're turning off a whole roof, so you'll see that. Um, other than that, guys, hope you enjoy the video this far. It is a, what, what's today? A Wednesday. Hope you guys had a good Labor Day. It's Wednesday. Come back with another video on hopefully Friday. Do today, upload this one today, and get you guys another video on Friday. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. It's nothing really too much to get around here. We're almost done. Um, they're laying up top, I can't really do much, so I'm down there uh, doing bids and measuring roofs and stuff like that and all that stuff. Gee, we listen to music, they, they do whatever they gotta do in order to pass over here. Just me standing here, I'm starting sweating. But, you know, it's all part of the process. It's all part of work and stuff like that. All right, guys. You guys have a great day. Stay safe out there. Peace.